suddenly you've got no money left because you know <laughs> you've spent tons of money on all these damn libraries and you're like right i've got to use them but the the right. it is it is and i suppose really trailers because i was thinking about this it's like how did i end up doing these getting sort of almost like pitching for trailer i think partly it was that i got approached i think i did like a rescore of prometheus when i was at uni and i just put it on youtube and thought whatever and i got approached by a firm in la um who wanted to try and place that cue and look at some stuff for Jurassic World and it kind of pushed me in that direction. Do you think yeah. with you it was kind of similar to that or do you think you just ended up, I suppose, getting into the dynamics and by writing dynamic music, it just naturally sort of fell into that genre? No, no. I think I, uh, I think it was just being in the right place at the right time for me. Um, I got introduced to it through a buddy named Brian Wynn. He, he works for a company called Ghostwriter Music now. But um, back in the day, he was just writing for um, different publishers as just a composer. And uh, we just started networking there. And he kind of asked me if I knew what trailer music was. And I had no idea what he was talking about. And so he kind of explained it to me. And, uh, you know, I, I started writing music that was like in a similar vein to trailer music. I mean, I look back at it now and I think it's pretty awful. But I tried at the time. And... Uh, you know, after, you know, multiple attempts, it started getting a little better and a little better. And uh, right around that time, he got hired um, to work for a company called Gothic Storm. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, he was looking for new composers at that time. And I had been practicing trailer music around that same time. And we had been networking pretty frequently. So he's like, hey, we've got this album that we're trying to get composers on. Would you be interested in writing, writing for this album? And, uh, you know, of course I, you know, took the opportunity and, you know, after a few revisions, we got the track where we wanted it and it ended up on that album. And that was like such a rewarding process to actually, you know, have a song on an album whose company, you know, has done trailers, just numerous trailers and numerous TV shows and all that stuff. You know, it felt like for once I really had a shot at getting my music into something cool rather than it just being a far distant dream that I wanted to keep working. Like I didn't realize how close I really was to having that kind of success just through like, you know, some simple networking sure. on Facebook. I, you know, I didn't, it's just crazy to think about, but yeah, it was just right place at the right time, kind of by accident. 